and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem is max circular sub array sum which is marked as a hard level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and array elements can range from minus 10 raised to the power 4 to 10 raised to the power 4 and array size will be uh, maximum 10 raised to the power 5 and minimum it will be 1 okay all right so 10 raised to the power 5 arr size which means i cannot have n square or greater time complexity okay all right let's find out what we have to do so we have to return sub array sum which is maximum but we can treat this array as circular we can treat this array as circular means if any sub array is starting from let's say 10 minus 11 12 and it can include 8 as well it can include 8 as well because it's a circle so let me use pencil and then i will explain so from here this is three elements in this way and if it is ending at the last it can again start from the beginning and do go till whatever it want go whatever it want okay so like if i'm stopping it at here minus 8 so this is one sub array this and this this is one circular sub array okay so i can like i we have to take this sum as sum sum as in consideration as well i have to take this sum in consideration as well and we have to return maximum sub array sum so if you remember cadence algorithm what which was max sub array sum but it was not circular so this is cadence algorithm max sub array sum okay so look if uh, if there is any sub array if there is any sub array in which circular thing is not required our cadence algorithm can work here as well our cadence algorithm can work here as well okay so first of all i will let's say calculate max sub array sum with the help of cadence algorithm so first thing will be clear cadence algorithm used to get the max sub array sum but cadence algorithm is not let's say resolving for the circular okay because look here what is maximum sub array sum max sub array sum is 12 and 8 minus 8 9 minus 9 10 so this is our um, max circular sub array sum but if i will use cadence algorithm it will only give me this much 8 minus 8 9 minus 9 10 which can be one answer 12 can be another answer but it will not include both it will not include both which is wrong so cadence algorithm will only work when there is sub array sum which is maximum but circular it will not so how can i get circular sub array sum uh, very very easy it is guys look if i can get whole sub whole sub array sum if i can get whole sub array sum okay whole sub array sum not whole array sum whole array sum what will be 8 minus 8 9 minus 9 it this is 0 and then 22 11 so whole sub array sum is what whole sum of array is 11 here okay i'm again again saying sub array sub array but uh, i don't mind it so whole array sum is 11 okay if i can get i can get minimum sub array sum minimum sub array sum minimum sub array sum if i can get minimum sub array sum and decrease and subtract it from the total sum i can get maximum circular sub array sum okay i can get maximum circular sub array sum okay so minimum sub array sum which we can also find using cadence algorithm which we can also find using cadence algorithm so both thing will be clear and which will be whatever sum will be maximum i will return that first sum will be from cadence algorithm okay another sum will be what total sum total sum minus minimum sub array sum okay because look uh, if you will take another example let's take another example of this so in this array if i will use cadence algorithm i will get the answer of this 7 6 5 i will get the answer of this 7 6 5 which is what 6 5 11 18 okay but 18 is not the correct answer here because correct answer is what 23 7 6 5 minus 4 minus 1 and 10 okay so this will be our total maximum circular sum how can i find it look if i will ask you to give me minimum sub array sum minimum sub array sum minimum sub array sum is what here it is minus 3 minus 4 okay and decrease and let's say take the whole sum take the whole array sum and decrease minimum sub array sum from it i will get our answer i will get our answer okay so yeah you can try it many ways many times with different different test cases and you will find that oh the this solution is optimal okay all right so simply let's go on to the code section write the code for it and i hope it will be clear so you can take this one as well 765 minus 4 minus 1 minus 140 okay now here look again cadence algorithm will not work if what will work here i will tell you i will ask you to find minimum sub array sum here minimum sub array sum is what minus 14 take the whole array sum and subtract this okay and i will get the answer okay all right but this will always not work sometimes cadence algorithm will work which will give us 
um, max uh, max other sum which is not circular because I can have to use that as well. When let me give you one example of that as well. Let's say minus three, one, two, minus four. Okay. So in this case, in this case, our maximum circular sum sum will be what three. Okay. All right. But if I will try to find out the whole sub sum, whole sub sum is what minus seven and uh, plus ka three four minus four. Okay. Total sum is minus four. Okay, and uh, I will re re remove what I will remove minimum sub array sum that is minus four, so it will be zero minus four minus minus plus zero, which is not correct, which is not correct, okay, which is not correct because then it will be taking this much array. So both things I will calculate and whatever maximum will be I will return. I hope this will be clear now. So let me write the code for it then very very easy. Look, int sum is equal to zero because I have to calculate that, okay, and uh, maximum is what let's say it should be negative so that i can use minimum integer dot min value and if you are using c plus plus python you can write accordingly min sum will be what integer dot max value okay and after that now uh, let's take two more variables current and uh, current negative okay because if you remember if you remember cadence algorithm there i used to have Two variables there, there we have to use two variables current and max sum but here two type of we are using so current and current negative as well okay all right so let's simply go on to a for each loop for arr and i will repeat look first of all what i will do i will simply store the sum to our array like s variable i will update with the current sum of i after that if you remember cadence algorithm it was something like current is equal to math dot max of current plus i comma i okay and after that max sum will be what max sum will be what math dot max of current and max sum which, which can be old so update max sum okay now what i'm doing here is this very very easy look suppose i have uh, minus 15 rupees in my uh, sim minus 15 rupees in my sim and after that now i will want to uh, get a recharge I, i've got plus 10 so i want to have a recharge of plus 10 so should i do this with the old sim should i do this with the old sim or i should include the new sim i should include the new sim like i should take a new sim so if i will take a new sim it will be 10 but if i will take the old sim it will be minus 15 and plus 10 minus 5 okay so that's the same thing which i'm doing here finding maximum of the old plus new or new okay so whatever will be maximum that will be my current and i will update my max sum to the previous max sum and current for this sub array for that much sub array okay all right after that similarly i will update my current negative as well current negative is exactly same but a little bit different so here instead of math dot max i will use math dot min and it will be i and current negative plus i okay so whatever will be max more negative i will update that and uh, now our min sum will be something like min sum is equal to math dot min of min sum and current negative okay i hope i hope till this point it is clear i am very patiently explaining this so that it becomes clear to you and after that i will come out of this loop now look look if all the array elements are negative if all the array elements are negative in that case in that case our sum will be equal to current negative in that case our sum will be equal to current negative okay or sorry current negative or it will be equal to minimum sum both will be same so it will be in that case it will be equal to minimum sum so in that case i will return maximum so maximum will be nothing maximum will be the that element which is less minimum if all are negative so what will be the maximum which is least negative which is let's say minus 10 minus 5 minus 4 so in that case maximum will be having minus 4 and we will return that okay maximum element if all are negative otherwise i will return the maximum of uh, max sum and total sum minus min sum i hope i will not explain this again because i have already explained it many times let's directly submit this code and check if it is running correctly or not meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video because i am taking too much efforts it's taking too much effort to make the video and it will motivate me if you will subscribe and like the video all right i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye